Ooh, all right. So I'm just here tweaking lines and shit. I'm in here she ready to rewrite like four bars and sit here and there. Yo, Japanese whiskey. Y'all niggas got bands where we dance to different drums. Oh no, no, no. I gotta come back. I gotta come back. <laughs> Yo, bro, we, this this is one, bro. This is one. And the queen at the end, bro, like, this harmony, that gave me chills, bro. Like, yeah, nah, and, and that's her when she comes in, when you say, on another beat? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Us feels about it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> He's clearly feeling it. This guy had to go sour. Rewrote some lines. Yeah, man, the song's dope. Um, uh, Nas... Pablo Escobar, the cryptocurrency, Jay Z, y'all killed Jesus, and then went and created religion. Like, um, uh, yeah, man, there's some hot lines on that on that song. The beat's nice and soulful. You know, there's some pretty faces in the video. I love the hue in the video. Like the vibe is there. You know, the stacks of money, but in a classy way. Looks like they're out gambling. You know what I mean? Yeah, having, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a night with the boys. And of course, the song wouldn't be a classic without another one. <laughs> we the best. I, I I called where it was coming in before the first time I heard the song. I knew exactly what he was gonna say. It. Yeah, man, song is dope. I'm feeling that record. Not my favorite Jay Z and Nas uh, collaboration. Still success. That's my collaboration. Um, uh, that's just it for me. Um, but this this one is really really good though. What are your thoughts? Disagree. 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 Disappointed in the song. The video was cool. It was a nice vibe. It's not like I haven't seen that vibe before, though. I think Drake did a video that was like that, too, maybe The weekend, with the same type of lighting style, same thing. Nothing really original to it. And as for the song, the reason I'm disappointed is because, like, I've heard this. I've heard this from Jay-Z. I've, I've, I've heard this. I've heard this from Nas. And when I... We spoke about this yesterday, and I said, listen, man, I want to hear DJ Khaled. We all know He's known for bringing a bunch of artists together and just jamming a song together. And that sounds like what he did here. I wanted to hear something different. I wanted to hear them come with a little bit more. Like, they came with that big boss talk, but the song is, nah. The song for me is a, is a meh. Well, look, put it this can... way. Put it this way, Dre. Uh, Jay-Z and Nas have done success They um uh, from the American Gangster album, Jay-Z's album. They've done... Billionaire Boys Club from Jay Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail. Now they've done this. Every single record that they've ever done together sounds the exact same. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't you want something different? When you hear about this song, it being the 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 lead single for when the album's dropping, because obviously he put Pop Star and Grease on there, which didn't they drop last year? I don't remember. Yeah, those yeah, felt like yeah. they dropped last year. They did. Okay, so. He clearly didn't have any new Drake tracks to put on there, but wanted Drake on the album. But um, I, when I heard DJ Khaled, Jay Z, and Nas, I want, I want magic. I want to hear something catchy, something that'll be bumping. I would love to hear Jay Z and Nas on a club tip vibe. Some of that club. If you want to talk that boss talk, that's cool. But give me something with some bass, something with some with some bounce to it. Give me that real talk. And and this was that slow. Blah, man. He, Nas he said, said that he's almost half a century. And that's the music that he made this for. That's that's the age group that he Also, made Nas has never really made a club record. Nas did Uchi Wally, and they laughed him out the game. You know what I no, mean? No, the only reason that they were laughing him out the game, I remind him, was because his bodyguard rapped on the track, and everybody was telling him that the bodyguard's verse was harder than Nas Yeah, but also, it just... It's just like you ever Uchi like see. It was a huge song. It was yeah, but yeah, but have you ever seen like just a dope, a dope outfit or a dope pair of shoes or whatever, whatever, and then somebody's got it on. You're like, yo, that's dope, but you look whack in that. It, it it's dope. It just don't fit them. You know what I mean? That's, I loved it. I loved Uchi Wally. I love and ev everybody loved Uchi Wally, and they remember that as a, as a Nas track, and that's Nas in his pocket. I love that track. That song was horrible. Love it. But uh, <laughs> viewing public, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> My guy over there, he's smoking that stuff. I guess that purple work. I don't know. <laughs> but um, uh, what are your thoughts here? Um, I still think that the DJ Khaled album is gonna be whack. But this song, definitely another one.
leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Yo, 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 Chris, 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 we got to 200 subscribers, Finally. man. Finally. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want to stop there. We have a new goal. The new goal is 500 subscribers. So what I need you to do, I need you to like these videos over here. I need you to subscribe right here, man. Two guys doing the podcast podcast, man.